Hey guys, it's me, Terry. Welcome to my channel, TD More Than Just Orchids. And this is somewhat of a orchid diary and OMG is there such a fragrance on this cross, which is Lilia Piperata times Momocurpola albopiperea. if it is focusing in or not i noticed over the weekend that oh, my lens has cracked on this here camera that i'm using so pardon if things are not as focused as they should be but i just wanted to show you a couple of things that are good things that spike elongates just got that from Caffrey orchids was not in spike I did bring this out which is my break on my beginning that's got that spike right there Check. Yeah, looky here, folks. Another flush of blooms on my Dendrobium primary hybrid, which is Farmer I crossed with Densiflorum. It's the third time blooming for me. Yay. And look. I need to get that out of there. But those need the moisture. And that flower still looks nice and pristinely white. What I'm most excited about out here is I've been paying close attention to this plant right here, which is a Baptia grape wax, which is a primary cross between Cattleya guttata and Cattleya boringiana, both of which are Brazilian species, I believe, that are very tall bifoliate types and they require a lot of sun. But the thing about these are that they put up their growths at the beginning of the growth season, like the other cat layers do have to do a little bit of a rest. Then, as soon as they mature, they put up a sheath, and then that sheath blooms like clockwork in the late summer, fall. Usually around Halloween-ish, um, but they can bloom small if given enough light. And that is one thing that I am happy to see there because that is a shrub that is on that plant and I just got the plant. Now here's another Bowring John because the plant separated. This one has not shown any sign of a sheath. And for some reason, I think there's another piece somewhere. Uh, but let's move to something else that I want to show you that I'm happy about as well. Okay, folks, I'm back and I'm in the greenhouse. Yay! And you might not have noticed, but I am really trying to get things better organized. This humidifier comes out in this one. You 
hear it surging and all that, it just doesn't seem like it's doing well. So that may have to be replaced. In the meantime, my failing ops is Corona. And decided to give me another flower. And this is Corona Survey crossed with I'll put the, the cross up. But next door, down below here, my Volvo 500 behind the lady is working on that flower. And that spike has a bud on it. This, which I know you remember me showing off, this is my lock car shed. That I got. Uh, it was last year. It was an import, and you see all of the inflorescences on the plant. One of the flowers is sort of open. It's got more of a pattern yet to be revealed. But look at all those little inflorescence coming out and each of those are sequentially producing uh, flowers so there's a lot there will be a lot going on simultaneously and so hopefully it will put on a nice show and there may be others that I don't see yet but that's that and There is a path here somewhere hiding that has a nice inflorescence on it. That is very, very, very close to opening up and I sure do not see it. So. Let's check somewhere else. Here's what I'm looking for. Pathiopelum Sanders Pride, which is half Sanderina crossed with half Stony Eye. And that is the end of the inflorescence with the multi floral bulbs that you see there. Nice. But back to this beauty. That smells so good. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your workouts.